Batman the Killing Joke is an animated adaptation of the legendary graphic novel of the same name, written by the legendary writer Alan Moore, with art by Brian Bolland. And um, this is an animated project that's been in the works for a, at least 10 years, that the um, producers of the original Batman the Animated Series, Bruce Tim and co, um, have wanted to make for a long time. And um, Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy re both return respectively as the Joker and Batman. And um, after uh, um, Batman the Arkham Knight, Mark Hamill said he were through with um, playing the Joker now, he'd retired from it. But the, And the only thing that would bring him back was if they did an adaptation of The Killing Joke. And um, they finally agreed to doing that and, uh, you know, he came back to voice for Joker for uh, probably one ma one last time, but, you know, a possibility that he may come back. But um, is the story, or is the actual animated film any good? And for the most part, yes, it, it is a quite a good adaptation of a really good graphic novel. Um, but the what what um what's wrong is the graphic novel is pretty short really so it wouldn't really be long enough to pad out a 70 minute animated movie so they've had to add for a 30 minute segment involving batgirl now if you know the killing joke story um barbara gordon batgirl gets shot through the spine by the joker um thus paralyzing her um, in in a, in an attempt to drive Commissioner Gordon insane, you know, to give him one bad day, which the Joker um, apparently got. Um, so she gets paralysed. So to give her some like focus in the film, not and not just to have her there for that one scene, they've done a kind of done a like thirty minute prologue, which involves her as Bat as Batgirl, um, and this prologue has nothing at all to do with. The Killing Joke story itself. Um, it starts with Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, narrating, saying something like, this isn't how you'd expect this story to start with me, and blah, blah, blah. Um, and this is the worst part of the animated movie. It, it feels tacked on. It's got nothing to do with the actual Killing Joke graphic novel. Um, it kind of drags on a bit. The artwork is okay -ish. The voice talent, you know, Kevin Conroy, Tara Strong's back as Batgirl from the animated series. They're pretty good. Um, but there's quite a disturbing scene in it where Batman and Batgirl have sex on a rooftop. That's right, have sex on a rooftop. Um, hashtag Batsex, um, which is pretty wrong, really. You know, because she's always been Dick Grayson's girl and... Batman's always been like a father figure to her and, you know, one of his closest friends and allies is her father, Commissioner Gordon, so that felt out of place in the in this movie. It wasn't needed at all. Um, and then, you know, she quits being Batgirl after the, like, the little half-hour adventure and then it just fades to black and then the killing joke starts, so it, it, it even has, like, a stop and start where the killing joke starts and then you kick on into the killing joke story itself which is really good you know the voice talent again um kevin conroy mark hamill brilliant the the killing joke story itself is fantastic it's just it's sort of ruined by this 30 minutes which is not needed at all um has nothing to do with the story and is, to be honest is pretty bad um they could have just released a 45 minute you know piece on blu-ray on dvd i wouldn't have minded that they didn't need to pad it out to 70 minutes or whatever it is um so yeah it's not needed the actual killing joke film is really good that's what's disappointing that is good it's pretty much a straight up there's a few added scenes in the here and there they could have stretched other scenes out to make it longer if they wanted to pad it up you know add it Elaborated on a few more scenes here and there, you know the flashbacks to the, the Joker's origins really good. Uh, it's 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 really good. Just completely ruined. Well, not completely ruined, but it 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 tarnishes the actual film. Does the first thirty minute prologue, which really 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 does 
feel tacked on and you know it does not need to involve hashtag bat sex so you know if it hadn't have had that 30 minutes the film would probably have received an A but because of that 30 minutes it's um it's knocked it down to a C Let me know what you think, guys, of uh, Batman the Killing Joke. Did you like the film? Did you like the acting talent? Was it worth Mark Hamill coming back from his Joker retirement? Um, did you like the first 30 minutes? You may have liked it, you may have not, you know. It's your choice. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of the film in, in general, you know. Were you, were you disappointed? Did it live up to your expectations? Did you find it mediocre? Did you like it, you know? Let me know. Um, write in the comments below, guys. Like and share. Spread the word of the Heroic Dale channel, and remember guys, stay heroic!